morning, good morning. This is our friend Mary Ann from Tenetuck. Yes, good morning, boys and girls. So good to see y'all again, it is. Miss Monica, thank you for all you do for these children. Thank you so much. Miss Jennifer, thank you so much for good. You sounded so wonderful this morning. <coughs> oh, Miss Dale, good morning, my dear. Looking lovely this morning. So, oh, thank you, my dear. You're so blessed to have Pastor David as your husband. <laughs> yeah, you're such a fine man. <laughs> Mary Ann, Mary Ann, you, you, you flatter me. I, I, I ain't that good. Ain't? Taste of David. Did you say ain't? Ain't? You don't say ain't. It's not proper English. Boys and girls know that. You don't say ain't. Taste of David. Wait a minute, Mary Ann. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You say y'all. Is that proper English? Taste of David. Need I remind you? Where was the first settlement in this country? It was Plymouth. Yes, the day they had no. Jamestown, and Jamestown is in Virginia. And in Virginia, they say y'all. They don't say you guys. They say y'all. You're not like Cousin Clyde down there on Tennessee, are you? Cousin Clyde, yes. You don't know Cousin Clyde. Is he, is he your cousin? Well. We don't exactly know whose cousin he really is in Tennessee, because as we say down there, it's all relative anyway. <laughs> but Cousin Clyde needs refinement. He does. Yes, he does. He needs refinement. He is out of date. You mean his clothing's out of style? No, his hearing aid batteries. <laughs> they are out of date. He does not hear anything. Anyone tells him. Well, just the other day, Pastor Fred was asking the congregation at the church. Ways that they could maybe relax a little bit. And Cousin Clyde said, what? Pastor Fred says, they need some ways to loosen up. And Cousin Clyde, who has no refinement, said, well, I know how we can loosen up, Pastor Fred. said, we could start by substituting that there communion wine with some prune juice. That'll do it. <laughs> no. I see y'all was set up for World Communion Sunday. Boys and girls, world communion is a good thing, you know. All over this country, all over this world, all over this world, people are gathering for communion. I just at my church this morning, we had world communion Sunday. Yes, we did. And Pastor Fred met with the youngins. And he explained that world communion Sunday, it's this joyous feast. And he said, now boys and girls, what do I mean by joyous? And one little girl raised her hand. She said, Pastor Fred, joyous means happy. He said, that's right. Happy, happy, happy. And he said, now what do I mean by a feast? And one young and raised his hand and said, Pastor Fred, a feast is like lunch. It's a meal. And Pastor Fred said, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. It is a joyous feast. It is a happy feast. It is a happy meal. And he said, well, what ingredients do we need for this happy meal? And sure enough, Cousin Clyde from the back of the church said, I know, I know. We need a hamburger, fries, Coke, and a toy for that happy meal. No, no, yeah. But no, let me tell you, World Communion Sunday, boys and girls, it's a very, very important thing. You're gathering with Christians all around the world for communion. And it's all set up so nice here. It's so... Pastor David, who set this up? No, Miss Jan and her committee. Miss Jan, thank you so much for all you do in setting up that communion. Where is she? She's back there. Well, thank you, Miss Jan, for all you do. <laughs> wow, she did. She did a good job. She, she, she done good. Pastor David, done good? <laughs> done good? Ain't done good? Miss Beth, how do you take him out in public? I do not know this, <laughs> All right, with that, we need to pray. Miss Monica, that you pray for us. Please.